Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel German Talks. Today we are going to do the grammar part of chapter 7 of Netzwerk Eins, Even. And the name of the grammar topic is Possessive Article in Accusative Case. In our previous lectures, we did possessive pronoun but in nominative case. We already discussed about the nominative case but again we are going to do the revision of nominative case and from with the help of nominative how we are going to form the accusative case. Now what is a possessive pronoun? A word that shows ownership, possession, belongness and relationship. Whenever you are going to show a possession or ownership there you are going to use the possessive pronoun. For example, my pen, it's my, it's my pen, like I am here I am showing the uh, ownership that it is my pen, your car, it's your car, it's nobody else car, it's yours car, so ownership, his house, her car and your laptop, so here what you are showing, you are showing here the, we are using here the positive pronoun, yes, the relationship, so we discuss about this table, this is the uh, table for mus uh, possessive pronoun, masculine, neutral, feminine and plural and their meaning. These all are the personal pronoun. I, you, he, she, it, we and so on. And now we are going to discuss about the possessive pronoun. These all, these all are in nominative case right now complete this whole complete are in right now nominative case but today's topic is about accusative we know about uh, nominative now today we are going to discuss about accusative before coming to accusative case first you need to know that this table will going to extend all this one Right now, this is just in nominative case. Yes, but if we are going to discuss about accusative or for example, dative or genitive, then we are going to extend our table. First, I am going to discuss this part. For example, mine means mine. If you are going to uh, extend this uh, table, this one is masculine, then neutral, feminine and plural. So, nominative case we already discussed, mine, mine, mine and minor, which is here, this part. Yes, right now it is in nominative case, now, this one is the extended form of accusative now, accusative, mine, 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 mine. Only this will will going to change. This will going to remain the same. Okay. And also for dative case is there. And genitive case is there. But today we are only going to discuss about accusative case. Again before starting the grammar part. First you need to know that how we can make this table. From our previous knowledge of our unbestimmed article. We can easily form this table. Now let's see. I hope you already know this table. This is unbestimmed article table, which we already did in our chapter 1 and chapter 2. For example, for nominative, uh, we write ein, ein, eine, and no plural. For accusative, einen, ein, eine. You can see here again it is same. Yes. And for dative, we just put en in the end. And here er. En, en. Er. And what we are doing in accusative, we are just putting here en. And rest all are same. So with the help of this table, we can easily form now this one. How? See, you just need to take the root of, for example, if we are, if we, if we need to make the table of mine. Okay, or thine or thine. So we just take the first the root. So the root word is mine. Yes. So we write here mine. Same like this. Ein. Then mine. Ein. 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 And eine. Here it is E. 
so mine mine here it is e minor but here it is no plural here we uh, write same like this feminine minor so mine 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 same like this ein ein eine now for accusative what we are doing here en so again for root en meinen here einen then ein and eine so meinen mine and again here it is e so meinen and meinen it's similar like unbestimmed article table for that what we are doing here em em and here ia so same way like this meinen meinen and meiner like this same way if we want to make for dein if you want to make table for dein let's take the root word and similar like this one we can make the table so dein we take the root dein for example here it is ein ein so we will write here dein dein here it is e eine so we will write here dein and same it is like here dein for accusative i told you we are going to use en so deinen here we use en so here it is deinen and einen ein eine so ein dein and here we are using e so e in same way like this and in that tip again we are using em 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 er what we are doing here em em er so same like this you can make any table of possessive pronoun with the help of unbestimmed article we discuss in our third and fourth chapter about nominative case but many times we uh, gets confused between nominative and dative and obviously dative uh, nominative and accusative and obviously afterwards uh, dative will also going to come but first we are going to see the comparison between nominative and accusative possessive article whenever you uh, see the word nominative it's all about subject whenever we talk about nominative case it means we are talking about the subject whatever the subject in a sentence for accusative the best trick is we ask what question which we going to see now if you are making the notes you can just write it for example for nominative we always ask we always uh, see for subject in a sentence and for accusative we ask what question which we are going to see now for nominative case das ist mein schlüssel das ist mein schlüssel means this is my key das ist mein schlüssel this is my key now why we are doing this because in german language we write the in different form same way all of this my your his its her we write in in a different for example for nominative we use different for accusative for dative and for genitive you can see in the table here these all are my yes which we use in english my but in german language it's having different forms we are going to um, use this my in uh, different different cases for nominative we use this for accusative we use so today we are discussing about accusative okay das ist mein schlüssel this is my key here we are talking about what we are talking about here about the key this is my key here what is the subject key my key that's why here it is in nominative case because we are just talking about key so here subject is equals to nominative if this is in nominative case das ist mein schlüssel that's why we wrote here mein because schlüssel takes masculine das ist mein schlüssel this is my key so and schlüssel takes which case masculine it takes masculine case that's why we wrote here mein you can check the table here for example here that that sentence is in nominative case so schlüssel takes masculine so nominative of masculine is mine that's why we wrote here mine now let's talk about accusative case ich suche meinen schlüssel i am looking for my key 
again this thing will going to change in german language in english it is my only but in german language it it will going to change ish sukhe mine schlussel again schlussel takes masculine and this is an accusative case so that's why we wrote here mine so accusative of masculine so what is accusative of masculine let's see here it is accusative here it is masculine so accusative of masculine is mine that's why we wrote here mine till here it's good but the main question uh, every time uh, student ask like how it is in accusative case for nominative it is very easy it's just a subject yes whatever the subject in the sentence it will directly come in nominative case but for accusative so i told you here the trick what question now let's see i am looking for my key this is the sentence simply you need to ask what question i am looking for my key so what question will going to ask what i am looking for answer will come my key yes so you just need to ask what question what i am looking for my key so this my will come in accusative case and schlussel we know it takes masculine so accusative of masculine here it is accusative of masculine is mine so that's why we wrote here mine i hope now you got the difference between nominative and accusative case nominative case this subject in a sentence accusative case simply we are going to ask what question again one more um, doubt will come in your mind that how we are going to uh, know this is schlussel is masculine or not now see till a1 and a2 you need to take the help of dictionary dic dot cc as you do reading like lesson part automatically uh, at certain point when you will reach till b1 level you know automatically like okay schlussel take masculine how to take uh, das auto neutral and so on okay it's all about practice that's why in a1 exam they don't consider that much about uh, like you know articles or no they also know that right now you are beginner and it's very hard to learn each and every article in just in a1 level but for your practice at your home you can use the app dic.cc which i already told you on in your phone in your laptop you can download for example this is the app you will write here key or schlussel or whatever you would you can write in german also you write key so you need to uh, click it here then you will see here for schlussel it takes masculine you can see here this one it denotes masculine if for example if it is f means feminine if it is plu p then plural if it is n then neutral like this so with the help of this right now for a1 and a2 level you can take the help of dic.cc app okay like this its interface look like now again second example nominative case my pullover is brackish okay my sweater is dirty again my sweater is dirty here um, what is the subject लाइक like, हम किस चीज़ के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं माई स्वेटर माई स्वेटर इज डर्टी सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट स्वेटर दैट्स वाई माई इज इन नॉमिनेटिव केस एंड स्वेटर वी नो इट्स कम्स इन मस्कुलाइन सो नॉमिनेटिव ऑफ मस्कुलाइन वी विल चेक नॉमिनेटिव ऑफ मस्कुलाइन वॉट इज दैट माइन दैट्स वाई वी रोट हियर my my sweater is dirty like this for accusative case ish mus mine in pullover washen i have to wash my sweater okay now here for example in this sentence 
if there is here is accusative case then what in this sentence it is uh, a uh, nominative case if mining is in accusative case then there will be some subject in the sentence what is the subject in this sentence the subject is ish same way like this ish subject now ish must mine in pullover washing i have to wash my sweater we don't know right now this is in accusative case or dative case accusative case or dative case what trick i told you we need to ask what question so we will ask what question what i have to wash my answer will come my sweater so it will be in accusative case what i have to wash the answer will come my sweater so this is in accusative case accusative one thing done now second thing we need to know the article pullover takes masculine so accusative of masculine let's check what comes in accusative of masculine accusative of masculine the answer is minen that's why we wrote here minen ish mus minen pullover washing next example nominative dein chef sieht net aus okay aus sehen looks like it's a train bow verb that's why aus is at the back aus sehen your boss looks nice यहाँ पे हम किस चीज़ के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं लाइक वॉट्स अ सब्जेक्ट हीयर योर बॉस लुक्स नाइस यहाँ पे सब्जेक्ट कौन है बॉस सो योर अगेन बॉस टेक्स मस्कू लाइन एंड इट्स योर्स यू कैन सी हियर योर्स सो दाइन दाइन शेफ जीट नेट हाउस here nominative of masculine nominative of masculine dine so dine chef zit net house accusative marks do dine and chef again masculine marks do dine and chef here what is the subject for example here ish is a subject here what can be the subject do Max do dine in chef do you like your boss now what question we are going to ask do you like your boss so what you like we are going to ask ourselves what question what you like the answer will come your boss so marks do dine in chef again here chef masculine and this one is in accusative case so accusative of masculine let's check here accusative accusative of masculine dine in that's why we wrote here dinen again next example nominative my motor art is kaput my motor bike is broken again hum yahan pe kis cheez ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain motor bike ke bare mein that's why here mine is in nominative case because it is in a subject that's why it's wrote here mine nominative of uh, neutral of nominative न्यूट्रल ऑफ नॉमिनेटिव माइंड दैट्स वाई वी रोड देर माइंड अकूजाटिव केस हे रिपेयर्स माई मोटर बाइक ए रिपेयरियड माइंड मोटर आर्ट वी नीड टू आस्क आस एफ क्वेश्चन ही रिपेयर्स माई मोटर बाइक वॉट ही रिपेयर्स माई मोटर बाइक दैट्स वाई दिस विल कम इन अकूजाटिव एंड प्लस मोटर आर्ट इज न्यूट्रल so accusative of neutral of mine accusative of neutral mine that's why we wrote here mine and here subject is air like this i hope now it's clear the difference between nominative case and accusative case see in the question number 10th a in a chapter 7 a1 there is a small exercise of possessive article in accusative possessive article in accusative now 
we already discussed this part there thus the the masculine neutral feminine and plural land partner material land partner in and text these all are in masculine neutral feminine and plural you can see here i n this is a small exercise here where you just need to fill the blanks for example they already did for minin minin min mine 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 and mine 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 you can see this only i explain here minin mine 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 accusative case but in book they directly wrote here without the table that's why it's always uh, better to understand the complete table so positive article in accusative minen mine 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 same way for here unser run then what will come here unser then unser r and then again unser r like this for year now you need to write for he here year three blanks are given for year you need to write now your task is to write in the comment for all this four four things one two three and four what will come here you just write you need to write in the comment box okay now again one more question comes here in this examples i told you you need to ask what question for your accusative case here again it is in accusative case but how you are going to recognize here that this sentence is in accusative case or dative case like i don't know whether it will come in accusative case for example if i will not write anything here then how i will get to know that it is in accusative case or here it is in dative case here they give one hint that is fior fior is a preposition which takes accusative case see here these are some prepositions which take accusative case and in first only it's written for fior takes accusative this all preposition takes accusative case these all takes dative case that's why they wrote here for because fior always takes accusative case okay so now we know that these all are in accusative case and we all know the articles of them so according to the table we just going to write the uh, articles here this is the possessive article one thing you need to know here that whenever these type of sentences occur you need to do two, two things first you need to check uh, if there any preposition in the sentence if it is the preposition then you need to know that that preposition is come in accusative case or in dative case so if you know for example for you know that okay for is the uh, preposition which take accusative case so you know okay till here now i just need to know the gender of that now but if there is no preposition then simply you will going to ask what question and whatever will be the answer it will fall into accusative case for dative right now we have not discussed okay we just discuss right now accusative case so this was the complete topic on uh, possessive article in nominative case and accusative case uh if you are making your notes you can make notes of this too and according to with the help of this table on best tense article you can also make the table of all this okay and as you already know for, uh, if you have any doubt or if you want to uh, uh, check your answers you can follow me on my instagram there i can send you directly the answer sheet of these all tables in the next lecture 
uh, we discuss the grammar part now in next lecture we are going to do whatever the exercise according to this grammar given in a book i hope uh, this topic is clear now if you like the way i uh, present this grammar topic please let me know in the comments so that's all for today danke schon auf wiedersehen ciao